Good morning, this is Ben, and I uh, wanted to respond to the video that I guess it pops up a lot on the internet, and so I'm just going to respond to this particular time it popped up, but there's like a largest church in the world, Oprah denies Christ, that kind of thing. Basically, there's this clip from from the Oprah shows, certainly older, I don't know exactly when it came out, and basically, you know, I want to sum up everything everyone says, but basically Oprah says that, you know, as all religions are right, or ways of life, or different ways of living gets you to you know, the same thing where she says that you call it light or you call it heaven, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. And, uh, I think she did accept that there was a way of being bad and a way of being good, but it was basically, she was trying to say there were a lot of ways of being good. And that didn't matter, you know, if you took the Christian way or the Hindu way, you know, or something like that. But anyway, uh, she got the, the members of the crowd disagreed with her, and uh, she argued her point on the basis of Christian particularism. In other words, what she did was say that, you know, how could there be only one way when not everyone can know about that one way? You know, basically, it didn't make sense to her that there'd be people somewhere who, you know, don't hear about Jesus but live a good life, and then they don't go to heaven just because they don't, they don't know about that way, and or as she put it, they don't call it Jesus because they didn't learn the name of Jesus and so forth. And to respond is actually rather easy uh, I'll just uh, ask a question and then read a scripture and it should respond to this uh, the question is this Jews believe that Jesus was not God not a prophet or any of that. Muslims believe that Jesus was not God, but but is a messenger of God. Christians believe Jesus is God. Hindus believe that everyone and everything is God. Buddhists believe God doesn't really matter. <laughs> that much. You know, you've got to you know, meditate your way out of suffering. Uh, there, there could be a God, it just doesn't matter. Atheists, atheists believe there is no God. Uh, how can all these be right? And then we look at the book of Acts. The book of Acts. I'm sorry, I'm messing up this little Bible app here. I'm doing it. Okay, Acts. We want chapter 17. Here it goes. We scroll down to verse. Is that thing squeaky? We go down to verse, uh, <laughs> I'll, put, I'll push my finger out so hard right now. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Hold on, I got to look. There. We're, we're looking for verse 26. 
There it is. And this is Paul preaching to the Athenians, which is like a little message that's like tucked into Acts. And anyway, Paul says, and he made, uh, that would be God, the he there. So, you know, and God made from one man, which would be Adam, every nation of mankind to live on the face of, of the earth. Having determined allotted periods and boundaries of their dwelling place, that they should seek God in hope that they might feel their way toward Him and find Him, yet He is not actually far from each one of us, for in Him we live and move and have our being. Isn't that amazing? Again, and God made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of the dwelling place, that they should seek God in hope that they might feel their way toward Him and find Him. Yet He is not actually far from each one of us, for in Him we live. And move and have our own being. Even if some of your own poets have said, you know, you're talking about the, the Stoic and the Epicureans, we, for indeed we are his offspring. So, that's it. Thanks.